Some of you guys will remember when I said to you, this year you are going to study Politics 101. At the time when I said it, it was like a joke. But I, I guess now people can see that it wasn't a joke. To this year, before this year end, you would have learned Politics 101. Next year, Politics 101. Dalimpov says I was involved in the formation of EMK party. It took people by surprise. I myself, I was surprised. But again, as surprised as I am, I can still say, this year we are going to learn MK, look, we are going to learn Politics 101. Go a bit further. Uh, Julius Malema responded and said that there are people who are yet to live in the MK, uh, look, in the, in, in the EFF. He says, they sing nicely. So we'll talk about that. Because there's only one person that we know who sings nicely. But we need to start somewhere for us to reach, for us to get somewhere. Let's start with uh, the issue of um, Talibov saying no. Actually, I was involved in the formation of EMK party, right? I formed EMK political party. A lot of people were surprised to hear that. I myself, I was surprised. I was like, wow. In politics, they say there are no permanent enemies. Neither there are permanent friends. Politics evolve, so you should evolve because there are no permanent enemies. Neither they will have permanent friends. Well, speaking about that, I'm going to show you videos chronologically. We'll talk about Dalimbov. We'll also talk about Umbui Senindlos. We'll also talk about the tweet from U Dal Loko from U Julius Malema. Let's start with Dalimpov when he says that I was involved in the formation of a MK party. Here. Advocate Mpof, I just need to get you very clear. <laughs> so were you part and parcel of the formation of Umkondo Isizu? Absolutely. At 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 uh, for a few months, as I say, there was a time where probably it was just me and former President Zuma who knew about this. And then it moved to a stage where we involved a few other people. In August, we held a meeting with 10 leaders, uh, and you, you can interview all of them. 10 leaders at another meeting in October of 2023, uh, including leaders of the EFF, leaders of the PAC, UDM, uh, ATM, uh, Areta at that time there was an organization like that and uh, House, Act, uh, that he's and, he was and leading Act, them, yeah. yes and the um, um, uh, Godi's uh, outfit the APC. Yes, APC yes so all the organizations Azapo was there I chaired the meeting of all those leaders and was trying to sell this uh, vision and President Zuma was present does the EFF know that uh, its member, or now you know, well, you're no longer yeah. the member now, yeah. but back then you were the member of the FF. Do they know that you were central in the formation of another political party? Yes. No, that uh, fortunately, at my uh, level of political involvement, I cannot uh, play double games. So every step of the way of uh, this project, I was reporting uh, to the EFF. Okay, let's proceed. Um, we then had uh, look uh, when 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 uh, Lomchitalo when Talimbofo resigned, then Malema issued a, a, a statement or he wrote on Twitter saying that two of your favorite are about to leave too. He says, I quote. Only two more of your favorite remains, and the list will be finalized. Now, listen to the sign. Listen to the sign. Please listen to this one. They sing beautifully and are always willing to oppose for the, oh, are always willing to pose for the pictures and sign roll calls. But remember, their soul are long gone. To prevent any any potential hurts. It is, it is crucial to, he to heed the guidance of the leadership. We remain standing and we are not going anywhere under criminal syndicates. That is uh, the tweet from U Julius Malema. Now, 
I want us to explore this tweet because it is this tweet that creates a bit of a quandary. Who sings beautifully? You may ask. And I, I think I have the answer. Take a look at this. Moving right along, we will dissect this piece by piece. Who sings beautifully? We all we, we, we all know who sings beautifully. We don't need to we don't need anybody to interpret that for us. We all know who sings beautifully. But then Dalimpov doesn't end there. He continues to give us a bit of uh news, you know what I'm saying, about uh, the resignation from uh, EFF and we're going to talk about Julius Malema's response to that but for now let us talk about this why are you not subscribed because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge why are you not basically doing all these things why don't you join become a member of this YouTube channel for, from as little as 20 rand a month because doing that is also free of charge Dalimpov addressing the resignation from e EFF, he speak beautifully and said this. Of unity. Okay, uh, let me just get you very clear, uh, Advocate Mpofu. You have just said um, your view is that total liberation would be achieved through MK. Hmm. Are you telling me that uh, you are considering joining MK or wanting to work with MK. I just want you to be very clear there. No, it's, it's much more serious than that. Um, I have taken a very, after a lot of uh, soul searching, yeah, I've taken a decision that uh, I will be joining MK. Um, and as I say, I'm joining MK because I believe that it is the vehicle through which we will achieve the much needed uh, black and progressive unity. Uh, so I'm doing so not necessarily to reject any other organization. Um, in fact, in a strange way, I always say I regard myself as a, a, what you would call a utility player. Yeah. A, a, a part of me, I was in the ANC for 33 years, so a part of me will always be uh, in that organization. I was in the EFF for 11 years, so a part of me will always be in that organization. And when I say a part of me, I mean that I've worked for those organizations, I've invested in them. Um, but at this point uh, in time, in November uh, 2024, I am of the view that the vehicle uh, through which we should drive that uh, unity uh, is Umkonto Wesizwe. I wonder if you are an EFF member, how are you feeling right now? Um, aggrieved? Betrayed? How are you feeling? Like, as a, as a member of EFF on the ground, how are you feeling? It is very important to understand this fundamental question. As a EFF member, how are you feeling? I know one will say, we are doing just fine. We are cruising nicely. But the truth of the matter is, 
when somebody dies in your family, you, you can't say that, oh, when a friend leaves you, when, a, when your girlfriend dumps you, when a boyfriend dumps you, you say certain words, not necessarily because you mean them, but because you are hurting. And again, I think it is prudent for me to ask the question, as EFF members, how are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling about this whole thing? I know you're going to be angry at me. He joins M M look, MK Party, Dalimbofu, speaking about his relationship with Malema, whether or not he told Malema about that. You're going to listen to Malema on a separate video, but for now, listen to Dalimbofu here. You informed the EFF leadership, particularly Julius Malema. Well, as it happens, uh, you know, the, the, it was a happy coincidence because uh, when I was busy going to write my resignation letter, I happened to speak to the secretary of my branch to check. And he said, well, in any event, he wanted uh, to call me. In fact, he had sent someone to say I needed to renew my membership. So my membership had lapsed. So there was no need to, to do any, any resignation. So mm. I just um, said, well, if my membership has lapsed, then uh, I, I'm free to make uh, uh, the announcement. And um, yeah. yeah, so some people will, will, will find out. Here is the, qu the question. Mm -hmm. Have you informed the leadership of the EFF, particularly Judas Malema? Given mm -hmm. that the, the nature of relations, I mean, you've mm -hmm. always been with together. them together. Mm -hmm. that, that's the reason why I'm asking. No, I haven't, uh, uh, to be fair, and, and I, I, I have tried to reach out to him. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's not, uh, there's no need to inform anyone at a, any particular time. I'm sure uh, there, there's no bad blood. So we will talk. As a, a courtesy? Yes, as a courtesy. I'll, I'll extend that courtesy even uh, after this announcement. And, um, and I'm sure that uh, our paths will meet in this journey, this difficult journey for, for unity. And um, so, you know, the, the, as I say, there's nothing personal in this at all. Uh, it's not anything that is being done against a particular person. It's something I'm doing for my people. Well, okay, now that we're done listening to Talimpov, I mean, so yes, Talimpov, um, there was a, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Before I go anywhere further, I know you guys are going to come back and say, but EANC said they are not in conversation with Julius Malema. But let me, let, me take, let me take you a bit back. Do you remember that there was something along the lines that there's going to be, these people are going to gonna leave e EFF. Um, uh, Julius Malema is going to leave EFF and go back to the ANC. There was some conversation like that. Do you remember that the Youth League Oh, I'm sorry, the youth leader of the ANC, he did say on record that they would have loved to receive Julius Malema back to the ANC. These leaders that are, these prominent leaders that are leading, are leaving EFF, looking at everything here, don't you think that probably they might have seen that, hmm, basically, we are leaving you know, this man is leaving, so the political party was going to collapse. I don't know. I'm just asking. But Julius Malema said they are not going anywhere in his tweet. So it depends what you want to believe. The tweet of Malema, or you want to look at the, the, this other people leaving and start, you will start doing your own analysis. I don't know. You'll tell me, because if you are, that's why I ask members, how do you feel about this thing? Because, wow, it's hard to take... Uh, two minutes ago, people were bullying and uh, bullying and going hard at Floyd Chivambo, but Floyd Chivambo left. He's gone. Um, people had their says about that. They had a lot of things to say about that. Today, what has happened has happened. So, again, I ask the question, how do you feel? Prominent leaders are leaving, leaders that are supposed to, or oh, seen as, you know what I'm saying, we are waiting for Mbuise Nilos now because the hint are that he's going to be leaving soon. We just don't know who's the other one, who's the favorite. I just don't know who's your fave because he says your faves. 
in other words the pe- some people that you like will leave maybe it's, uh, but i don't think you know i'm looking at the eff structure and the eff what what i don't think marshall is the guy that is going to be leaving anytime soon i just don't think so but this is politics and you know speaking about the fact that this is politics it teaches you one thing in politics they are never permanent enemies neither they are permanent friends right keep that in mind today some people are enemies tomorrow those same people are friends because in politics they are never permanent friends no permanent enemies give me your thought and give me your perspective in all of this i'm very keen to listen to your thoughts and your opinion about it see you guys on the next episode